Hey there, it's Lori here. I'm stopping in with the next round of Make It Monday uh, for Paper Tray Ink. I'm challenging you today to use cover plates and tag dies together and I'll show you um, a little bit first about these cover plates if you're new to Paper Tray. Um, these are just an A2 a card front die and um, normally you just cut this out and it covers the front or the background of your card. There's lots of different shapes. This one is the hexagon die. This one is a quatrefoil die and I have no idea if I said that right but that's what I call it in my head. This one is the circles die. This one is the peony die. This one's the mighty bloom and of course the butterfly die. So here's a sample of what we'll be making. I've got tag sale number three die, tag sale number four die, tag sale number five, and this is a monthly moments journal card six die. So basically you can see I've just combined the tags with the cover plates just to make a different, um, different look with some fun detail. So let me show you how I've done this. So I've cut out the uh, cover plate modern cross quilt die along with this tag and it's so simple. I've, what I do is I just take the tag, take the back side of the die and then you can kind of just move this around so you can see where you want the detail to be on the front of your tag. Once you have that where you want it, you can just hold it down or, or put some washi tape or post-it tape to hold that in place and then you want to run that through with your cutting machine. So when you take this off, then you just have the tag shaped center. And as always, I'm going to use my spray adhesive and my tweezers. I'm going to just spray the back of this to adhere it to the front of the tag. It's really just as simple as that. So one more I have to show you. I've already cut out the peony plate die and I'm going to adhere it to the monthly moments die. I'm just going to hold this up to the front of the die and then kind of just move this around so I know for sure how I want that placed. And then I'm going to run this through my machine. So this is what I have left. Obviously there's a little piece of the frame and I'm just going to trim that off. And I've sprayed that with the with my adhesive and then I'm just going to lay this right down on the tag. And then turn that over and just make sure that's stuffed down nice and tight. So a couple things. If you run your dies through and you have those little pieces of thin paper, a really good way to get rid of those and just to finish those edges is to take just a plain sanding block and just run those over the edges and those little tiny thin pieces of paper will fall right off. You can also use your fingernail but the sanding block works really well. A lot of the times those same pieces of paper are inside your die, especially with a more intricate die. Um, I use this really stiff bristled brush. It's probably just a cheap Hobby Lobby paint brush but if you just stick that in, inside the die, those little pieces of paper will come right off. And a little adhesive eraser helps if you've got any glue peeking out. My last tip is if you want to use the negative of the die, and you've seen me do this before. I actually did my first Make It Monday two years ago, and I know that because it popped up in my Facebook memories. So this is um, a tip back from that first video. It's obviously to use press and seal. So for this tag, I just want to use the negative. You're just going to take the sticky side of the press and seal, press that down onto your cover plate, and you just want to press around to make sure you can get those negatives stuck down. I'm going to go ahead and just start to peel the frame off. And with this many pieces, it might be a little bit more tedious, but it works. You just want to press down as you're peeling.
running a bone folder over this just helps those pieces to stick to the press and seal. So now I'm going to take my tag and kind of see where I want to put it. And then I'm going to run this through my machine. So as you can see, this has die cut the press and seal and the little hexagons and it's, stu it's stayed in the die. All you have to do is just peel an edge up and this will be the overlay that goes straight onto your die. So I've taken this glue and I've just put a dot on each hexagon. And I'm going to take my tweezers and lay that down right onto the die. I'm going to let that sit for just a second so that glue will dry. That way when I peel off the press and seal it will, the hexagons will stay in place. So there you have a tag using the negative of the cover plate. It just gives it a fun uh, look. The one I'm going to finish today um, shows you basically tone on tone. This would be more like a faux embossing look. It works just like the other tags that I've done and this one I've used the butterfly die for. I've already um, adhered my sentiment and then now I'm just going to finish it off with a butterfly. I cut this butterfly out of vellum and it's stuck into the die nice and tight so I'm just going to take a piece of washi tape and then pull that die cut out of the die. And I'm just going to use some Tombow adhesive and just put a little bit on the back of the butterfly in the center and adhere that butterfly down on the tag. And I'm going to fold the wings up so it's a little bit more 3D. And now I just need some black twine. So that is it for today. You can see all my tags um, laid out here. You, your challenge is just to use a cover plate in some way with a tag or with any die cut really. You don't have to use an actual tag die. I thought this die would be fun. It's not a tag but it would be so easy to make it a tag just by punching a hole in the corner. With any of the die cut or with any of the cover plates um, you could just use any large solid die. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see what you create. I'm so glad that you stopped by today. Have a great day.